Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. You guys, I got, I got a 20. And this is what we're doing with the 20. I was challenged to take this $20 bill and go to Dollar General to stock up my van on essentials only. You know, food, uh, necessities for the van. $20 at Dollar General. We are going shopping. Let's get into it. So I found the dollar deals aisle and I really like this aisle because of course everything's a dollar and I see they have Irish spring soap and I like this because you can grate it to keep away the mosquitoes and also to open up zippers like I had to do on my awning recently. So I'm going to grab a two pack of that for a dollar. They also have toilet paper for a dollar. I'm going to compare the price to the four packs and the quality of course. I also need to refill on Ziploc bags but I don't use them very often so I found these hefty sliders for I mean there's only seven bags but again it's a dollar and that should last me a little bit because I don't use them too often. I also like that they have these trash bags. Those might be good for my toilet. Hmm. They have all sorts of stuff in this dollar deal section. Ooh, paper plates. I kind of like these small ones. Let's do those. I do need some more dish soap and they have palm olive. A dollar. Need. I found the clearance section too. There's lots of goodies in here. Pens, it looks like lots of uh, like vitamins, meds soaps, even uh, little root touch-up stuff, looks like some pet items. Always check the clearance, you never know what you're going to find. So I found this bath tissue in the um, dollar section, so it's one roll, 700 two-ply sheets, and then, but there's a four-pack here. This is a thousand sheets per roll for $3.75. So I might, well, but this is one ply. Hmm. So it's pretty comparable. I guess it kind of just depends on how much you need and if you want the one or two ply. Of course, you guys know I love my baby wipes. So $2.65 it looks, for, looks like for a pack of 56. They also have some Huggies, cocoa, and shea butter. Dang. <laughs> they have some, well, it looks like all of these wipes are pretty comparable in price. But the Huggies are absolutely the highest quality I know from experience. I found another dollar hygiene, like, travel area. And Colgate, Optic White, it's just a little one. Um, but Colgate's a great brand. It's high quality. And if you're on a budget and just need some toothpaste, a dollar is pretty good. They have these shampoos too, but honestly, like with these Tresemme ones, you can get a full bottle of Tresemme for five bucks at Walmart, so it's not really worth the value here. 
I always need paper towels, so I found these Viva for $2.25, but it's 91 one-ply sheets as opposed to these paper towels for $2.65. This is 225 two-ply sheets, so a much better value for the money. So I showed you guys at Costco that taco kit and I plan on getting that for my next adventure. They have these small salsa verdes for only $1.95, but this is literally my favorite. It's a little expensive at $2.95, but you can literally put it on anything and it looks like there's actually an instant savings. If you spend $5 on these products, you can save $1. So that's pretty good, but I'm going to get these for my tacos. It's a great condiment for tortilla chips and, I mean, anything you want green salsa on. I came across this end cap that had toothpaste on it, and I showed you guys that travel one from my basket here. That was a dollar, but this one is also a dollar and way bigger, so of course I'm going to get this one instead. I came back to the dollar section and I found these um, insect repellent wipes. The mosquitoes have kind of been bad up north, so I'm going to snag these for a dollar. It can't hurt to have some wipes. Better than spray. I think I'm, a, I think I'm approaching my 20 here. I also decided I'm going to get some of these 30-gallon trash bags because I've been cleaning up my campsites. Especially lately, they've been pretty bad uh, after all the summer travelers, so I'm going to put those in my cart for all sorts of trash and I think with tax that's gonna do it. My basket back for you in here. Oh, yeah, no Wait, did you get more cards? More cards? Uh, do we have any more cards back here, Nick? What? Gift cards? Gift cards? Okay. It is so tasty. <laughs> I found it here one time and I tried it and I was like, this is like the best green salsa. Yeah. It's really good. It's even good with just like chips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. $18.98 here. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, my dears, let's go over everything I got at the Dollar General. And we'll talk about my receipt. So I got three bags. And quite a bit of stuff, to be honest with you. I noticed that everything on my receipt um, was a dollar, except for the paper towels, the baby wipes, and my salsa. So to recap, paper towels. So these were definitely the highest quality paper towels at Dollar General that I saw. I even ended up finding some on um, in the dollar aisle, but. They were one ply and it was like 70 sheets or so. So these were definitely the best value for the money. Next, I ended up getting two of the toilet papers. Again, um, doing the math and considering the quality, getting two of these as opposed to the four pack for $3.75. These were the better value. I also got the Irish Spring Soap, which can be used as mosquito repellent to clean or to loosen up zippers if you have an awning or something else. So that's bag number one. Bag number two has bags. These Ziplocs, uh, the sliders, I like the quart size and um, there are seven in here for a dollar. I also got these 30 gallon trash bags. So when I'm at my campsite, I can be collecting trash um, that other people leave behind. And you know, you, you can't go wrong with some big black trash bags. I also found these uh, insect repellent wipes.
in the um, dollar section. There's 42 wipes in here. A little better than like a spray perhaps. So, and the mosquitoes have actually been abnormally bad in Arizona. So you can't go wrong with those. And I also, also needed some dish soap. I don't go through a ton of it. So getting a, a smaller size for me just works out way better. So that was bag number two. And bag number three. I have, again, baby wipes, huggies, the best. The It's the 56 count. Um, that was 265, I think. Yeah, 265. And the toothpaste that I found for $1, a much better deal than the small travel sized one that I found. Both for Colgate brand. Paper plates, because I don't like doing dishes, so paper plates for $1. And last but not least, this super tasty green sauce. I love this stuff. Now, side note about this. So the price tag, if you saw in the video, was $2.95. That's what was posted. It's actually on my receipt for $3.25. So I paid a little bit more than what it was posted for. And I'm glad I didn't end up purchasing another item because tax was $1.33. So if I would have purchased something else, that probably would have put me above my $20 spending limit today. I also realized that um, on my receipt, and here I'll show you, my subtotal was $17.55. My tax was $1.33. Bringing my total to $18.98, I got $1.02 back. I also found that, so tomorrow, which is October 8th, there's a $5 off coupon if you spend $25 or more. So that would be a great time for me to go into the store and actually do my food challenge. Um, and so I thought that was kind of neat. It looks like there are some um, exclusions here at the bottom, but nothing that I need is listed there anyways. There's also a survey, so you can go on and enter to win a $100 gift card. But um, yeah, so so that is it, eighteen ninety eight. Well, my friends, thank you so much for being here and watching this $20 spending limit at Dollar General. I actually had a lot of fun with the challenge because I realized that if you look a little bit closely, you might be able to find some good deals that you didn't see at first. Like with the toothpaste, I mean, I probably passed it four times in the store before I even saw it like on the end cap for a dollar. So I hope that this helps. Be sure to give my video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.